Some of you have noticed the tag on my shoes and uh, look what I had to do here. That and check this out. Uh, so I felt like this was a warning of bad things to come. Uh, plus the night before I made the, the fatal mistake of working until 10 o'clock. And I, and I also had a cup of coffee at uh, 6 o'clock um, in order to uh, make myself pee a little bit more so I can lose some water weight. Uh, which it did help me do. I weighed in 4 pounds under. Um, so I made it into the weight class pretty easily. Uh, but let's uh, see what happens here first. Uh, sh it took her so long to give me the squat command because uh, she said my knees weren't locked out. And I got that pretty easily, um, they, but that, they were as locked out as they could be. Uh, so the combination of that cup of coffee, uh, working so late, and just being really anxious and, and nervous, uh, I couldn't fall asleep and I got two hours of sleep at the most. And so at this point I was just running off of one cup of coffee, two hours of sleep and uh, just pure adrenaline. Now this is uh, 3.20, I'm working towards my goal of 3.30, so here's my second attempt. And a little bit of a grinder, but I've had worse in the, in the, uh, in the gym, so <clears throat> I got my first two attempts and I was feeling pretty confident. And uh, I really wanted to uh, reach my goal of 3.30, so despite the fact that I was feeling so tired, um, I just pulled all my adrenaline uh, out and, and really raged on, on, uh, on this attempt here. Let's see how it goes. So mentally I really wanted it, but my body just had other plans, it, it just shut me down. Um, <clears throat> so not only did I fail my squat, uh, my goal of squatting 330, it also messed, my, uh, messed up my goal of reaching a total high enough to uh, re get me a class 2 uh, powerlifter classification thingy. Uh, so two goals messed up uh, with one missed attempt. Um, so let's see how uh, the bench press portion goes. And right away with the first attempt, I was able to break a state record. So um, I regained back some, some of my, uh, my confidence and uh, was feeling a little bit better uh, by this point with myself. So before each, uh, each portion of the event, the squat, deadlift, and uh, bench, uh, before I warmed up, I took one caffeine pill. And it didn't give me an advantage uh, performance-wise, but it just kind of helped me uh, stay awake. So let's see how this one goes. Uh, pretty easy, so I just broke my state record that I just set. And I gotta thank Brian Nielsen for giving me the tip on not letting the bar sink into my chest because I felt like uh, it really helped me out. And overall, I just felt really comfortable with all these pauses. Um, none of these felt really that, that tough um, for me. Uh, and I wanted 255 actually, but the closest I could get with the kilograms was uh, 253. Um, so the last one went up pretty easy, uh, but this is a about a 10 pound jump. Uh, so let's see how let's see how it goes. <coughs> and this meet happened on Sunday, and it's Tuesday now. And that, you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm still trying to recover. And I got it pretty easily. And uh, one of the spotters actually told me I, that could have been my opener. So I really underestimated myself. Um, at least on the, on the, the bench, press, bench press portion. So deadlifts I was not lo looking forward to because uh, because of the way, how, how badly I did with uh, squats. I was just not looking forward to the weights that I would have to uh, lift up. And uh, during warm up I actually felt really dizzy at the top of each rep. So um, let's see what happens here. So you can see the weight went up pretty easily but um, I, I almost lost it at the top. I, I was just really dizzy and I almost fell over. So for my second attempt, I had to redo it. I, had to, uh, I couldn't move up in weights. Uh, I had to redo 407. And uh, I just approached it with a much more zen mentality and let's see how it goes. It went up pretty easy and uh, no stumble there. So that one got three white lights. And now I had to make a choice. I had to either do the weight that I planned for my second attempt or just go all out and go for my goal of uh, 4.30. So I said, you know what, it's the last attempt of the day. I'm just going to go for it. I, uh, I just really raged and, and pulled all my adrenaline out of me. And uh, let's see how it goes. So 
So sometimes in powerlifting, you gotta do a, a nice power yell. And uh, that was the only time I ever lifted with my eyes closed with anything. And I got uh, three white lights. So I was able to break a state record for a bench press deadlift and the total. Um, although I did fail my goal of uh, reaching a 330 squat at a meet and uh, my goal of reaching a total high enough to grant me a class 2 powerlifter classification. And uh, I was uh, one out of two people in my weight class for the uh, raw open men's division. So um, I won first place. And uh, it, that it, that meet just really took a lot of, out of me mentally and uh, physically, of course, physically. So um, I'm taking the week off, but I'll still continue to uh, make videos. So uh, I want to thank everyone for your support and your uh, encouragement. And uh, I I also just reached a uh, hundred subscribers, so I think I'm I'm thinking I'm going to do some sort of giveaway or something soon. Uh, but anyways, I will talk to you. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.